Calpine analyzed 22 sites in the San Jose area to build a power plant. Several factors are necessary to properly site a power plant. Gas lines, transmission lines, water, and adequate acreage. This site was selected in part because it is an excellent location to provide power to the local grid. However, a special challenge was that this site would restrict the plant to only 11 acres. Traditionally, facilities of this electricity output require 25 acres or more. A typical coal plant with the same electrical power output requires 300 acres. 6,000 acres would be required to install an equal electrical output wind farm. This is uh, the most modern power plant uh, that we're able to build in, in this country, any country these days. It uses the most modern conversion technology, the combined cycle. It's highly efficient. The best possible power plant that our society is capable of building. And we've um, made it even better with the extra features that we've put on the power plant. Uh, from an aesthetic standpoint, uh, we've, we've uh, made it aesthetically attractive and pleasing. Uh, we're very proud of this power plant. The design challenge was well worth the effort because the Metcalf Energy Center is situated across the street from the 40-acre Metcalf PG&E substation. In fact, this proximity requires only 200 feet of transmission line to connect the facility to the existing transmission towers. This eliminates the need to run lines across sensitive habitat or through neighborhoods. Uh, we took a look at the Metcalf Energy Center in South San Jose that's being proposed to being built. It's so much cleaner than the existing plants. And the old power plants are 33 years old. The diesel power plants, we have stage two, emergency stage three. That was one of the critical reasons the Sierra Club yeah. came on support. Because of these diesel generators are coming online when we have these uh, spare the air days, day, days, and they're highly polluting. They're like 100 times more polluting or 1,000 times more polluting uh, than the new Metcalf Energy Center. So these are the kind of things the Sierra Club supports. Also, there's, there's many other environmental reasons, using the recycled water, the uh, protecting the Fisher Creek, though, the repairing corridor. Right now, there's cattle that are just tr trouncing that area. Mm -hmm. uh, Calpine is going to make sure that there's a, that area is protected for the wildlife. A reclaimed water pipeline was installed to bring water from the Santa Clara Valley Water Treatment Plant in North San Jose for use in the plant's cooling system. Use of this water will prevent the discharge of approximately 4 million gallons of reclaimed water into the San Francisco Bay each day. This will help Santa Clara County comply with the Clean Water Act and improve the overall health of this endangered habitat. Calpine utilized the services of biologists, botanists, paleontologists, Native American monitors, and cultural resource specialists to assist in achieving their environmental goals and objectives. Calpine created an aesthetically pleasing exterior design and added additional sound deadening to please the community. Calpine has gone to great lengths and expense to create a facility that will virtually have no visual sign that it is operating. The Metcalf Energy Center utilizes natural gas-fueled combustion turbine combined cycle generation technology. This produces two forms of energy, electricity and steam. The natural gas-fueled combustion turbines are highly evolved engines that use advanced controls for precision fuel burning and high efficiency. The heat coming from the turbine is fully contained and directed into a recovery system that converts the heat into steam. The steam is sent to another turbine, which spins a generator creating additional electricity. The residual steam is further cooled into water and recirculated through the heat recovery steam generator, where the process begins again. Additional cooling is accomplished with a self-contained water system cycled through the steam condenser. This clean water system is essentially a giant indoor sprinkler system that cools the water by moving air through its cascading showers. This water is completely isolated from other components within the plant. 
Natural gas fueled combustion turbine combined cycle generation technology converts up to 60% of its fuel's energy into electricity. This technology is setting new standards for emissions control and reduces fuel consumption by up to 40%.